because it's a mess out there. People just use each other on social media. Mm. If you look at the circle around me, this guy, mm. I know him for past 10 years. Like everyone around me, I know them for five to six years. Mm. So I keep my circle really close. Why? Because others just want to use. Mm. For example, if you will get a friend, like, oh, let's be friends. He'll just use you for a couple of days. I'll be like, Ma yeah, yeah. get lost. I'm done with you. Yeah. So people get bored easily. You don't know who's real, who's not. Hello, welcome to Jibber with Jabber official. That's your Instagram name. Yeah, Hello, Allah, welcome to Jibber with Jabber. Today the guest is Mr. Jabber. So, I heard you put your cat down. Why did you kill your cat? Oh man, why did you have to go there, dude? My wife watches this stuff, man. <laughs> At least I know where my cat is, bro. <laughs> You could have put your cat down if you wanted to, bro. <laughs> Apparently, uh, your cat doesn't like you, so it left you. It did not leave you, me. Uh, uh, you know, it went. You know, it abuse, went out. You friends. know, domestic abuse is on all levels, bro. Even to animals, right? So no. there are places cats can go to talk to people. It doesn't and matter. My my cat feel. is gonna come back. Yeah. For those who don't know, yeah. my cat climbed a tree and left. She just left. I think she went to enjoy with her friends for Eid. Wait, wait. Your cat climbed the tree. Yeah. And then kept going up. I don't know. Flew, left, right, and then jumped. And you saw gone. it. I so didn't see it. So it climbed up the tree. It looked back at you and just went. <laughs> I'm out of here. I didn't it see it. It is what it is. <laughs> I mean, that would have been better if yeah. I if I saw it. I didn't see it, but there is no other way to escape. So your cat didn't respect you enough to show you and tell you that it was. Leaving. We all were sleeping. It just left you, bro. We all were sleeping. It just left you in the middle of the night. We packed his bags and went. I've had enough of this shit, bro. It was morning. Left. It was morning. Yeah. Even worse, bro. Even worse, no respect. These cats have no respect. But yeah, my cat got cancer. I didn't even know that cats could get cancer. Um, all right, if, if we're going to be honest, my cat was the daughter of the devil. <laughs> she was Satan's daughter, bro. I had no respect in my own house. I couldn't walk around the place. If I tried to stroke her, she'd fuck me up. Um, she'd look at me like every time I came home, she'd be like, you're back again Cats are like that No, 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 no Cats are like that But mine was vindictive It was very personal Like she didn't look at anyone else The way she looked at me, bro And um, and it's been with my wife For like 14 years, bro So it's uh, like You must have done something And, you know I'm, I'm not good looking enough To say to my wife It's me or the cat Because <laughs> she'll go it's the cat. It's 50 50. <coughs> um, guys, welcome to another episode. I'd like to introduce my guest today. Zubair, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm very good, very good. Eid Mubarak. Now, see, there are three cameras. Where to look? One here, one here, one okay, there. Okay, so this one is yours. Okay. This one is mine. This one is ours. So okay. we're already sharing something together. I mean, it's, it's good bonding. We I have mean, hours already. I mean, like, that's our baby. We can share a lot of more things. Yeah, we're going to be sharing a lot more things. I don't know if you meant physical or you're talking about no, the conversation. No, no, I, I meant about the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, let's take it right back from the start because obviously you're a you're a comedian. You uh, do a lot of shorts. You do a lot of things. Um, born in 1995. Let's talk about that experience. How, how, the, how was that for you? Well, I was born and the doctor was like, Mabrook, you have a champion in your house right now. Mm -hmm. My father was happy. My mother was happy. Then for the next 20 well, years, I don't remember what happened. But what were your goals, you know, in those first moments for life? What, what, you know, what goals did you set for yourself? I was just crying that time, bro. Oh, that's really? when I came out of the womb. Oh, so straight you up crying. Oh, okay. So I had <laughs> you a, didn't cry when you were born, bro. I came out, slapped my own ass, walked out of the room, and I was just like, right, shit needs to be done. Yeah, bro. I need to start yeah. doing jabber. Yeah, I've just wasted my mom's doing nothing, bro. <laughs> You know, it's time to get shredded. Um, okay, so what got you into this whole thing? Because I'm going to be very honest with you. Your comedy is very straightforward. It's it's very straight to the point. And, and I really like that. And coming from England in the UK, English comedy is very different. It's very kind of like, you know, the whole Ricky Gervais, the inside jokes within seven inside jokes and, and all that stuff. Yours is very kind of like straight up. It is what it is, and and it that's is it. Because I remember I saw when I when I saw your first video, it was years and years ago, and I was just like, my first thought was like, this guy's so stupid, man. And I carried on watching, and I was like, oh, that joke was so stupid, man. But I'm laughing, and I'm still going, oh, this guy is so stupid. But I could, I didn't stop for the whole video, bro. I watched the whole thing, and it was like, it's so relatable the stuff that you do that it's like, the obvious joke that's even funnier. Because people try to be so smart by creating the, the such a, you know, like I said, yeah. the, the layers of jokes that they forget about, like, the, the true things in life that we found funny. 
like when we were growing up, whatever, someone who farted was the most hilarious <laughs> thing in the world. It's like the, it's the oldest form of humor, just the straight in your face joke. Exactly. So wh when you came to do your first video, how did that come? Wh were you? See, the thing was, I never was into this field. Hmm. Never. I was a football player in the school. That hmm. was my aim. My father, he works in charge of police, strict, hmm. religious man. Nobody has ever done this. And يعني, after 12th grade, I didn't know what to do with life. So I met with my friend. I was like, you know, let's just try to make comedy videos. He's like, really? I was like, yeah, back those uh, back then wine was going on, mm. but I only had Facebook. So I was like, let me post it on Facebook. The first video I posted on Facebook, it was OK. It was like, you know, uh, my friend wore a uh, hijab. Mm. He came to me. He was like, hi. And I was like, hello, wallah, I have bitch. And he goes like, why did you call me a bitch? And he slaps me mm -hmm. and I posted that video. It was OK. She like, nothing happened much and then the next video i asked a trick question to my friend i don't know if you have seen it's the eyes video oh yeah, yeah. i posted that uh, that gained like three million views in like one day yeah. and i was shocked i'm like three million views crazy Th that's uh, a lot of views. i felt like a superhero yeah to go from nothing to three million that's just exactly. like and i was like okay i need to do something and then i started making videos but i used to post it on my facebook profile and then I was like, no, I have to make a page. Mm. I made a page and I started posting like, you know, three videos in three days back mm. to back. And then my first big break was the chicken video. Yeah. That video was, I swear, I don't know how people found it funny. I still find it lame. Really? Trust me, we made the video and I'm just like, should I post it or no? And then my friend with whom I made, Ahmed, he yeah. was like, no, bro, it's too lame. I was like, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. It's too lame. I'm not going to post it. And then my another friend, Hamad, he was like, are you going to lose something if you post it? Mm. I was like, no. He's like, are you going to lose money? I was like, no. He's like, are you going to gain money? I was like, no. He's like, you have nothing to gain. You have nothing to lose. Why don't you post the video? Mm. I was like, that's fine. I posted the video and I went to sleep. After I woke up, I'm like, in like three hours, it was one million views. Wow. And I'm like, what is going on? And the next day, I have people calling me for interview from this news channel, from that news channel. I'm like, how? How are people finding this funny? Yeah, in one day, viral. In one day, it went viral on WhatsApp. It went viral on Facebook because it was just 35 seconds. Yeah. It went viral everywhere. And on my Facebook page, it has around 15 million views, I think, that oh. video. And another guy posted the same video on his profile. He has around 10 million views on that video. From your video? Yeah. And I'm just like, I need to start making. And since then, I did not stop making. And trust me, I have like, like I have a, I have families watching my videos. I have like uh, kids watching my videos, and I care about you know what influence I have on them with yeah. my videos. If I didn't care about that, I would have used a lot of vulgar jokes. Trust yeah. me, my mind works twenty four seven. Even some jokes I use, I was like, no, 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 this is this is too dirty. Mm. I need to you know, put little cover yeah, on yeah. it and make it little halal, mm. so you know, everyone can enjoy together. Because in some videos I go like, you know, for I made a video for United Kingdom. I said United Condom. Yeah. Now imagine a family watching it and the kid goes like, Mom, what's, you, what's, what's, what's a condom? condom? Yeah. <laughs> this is what we didn't use and why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, no, I need to be straightforward. Yeah. But يعني, I can't use a lot of dirty jokes. Yeah. So that's when I started thinking, I'm like, okay, if I'm being, if I'm making a joke, I need to, I need to make it straightforward. And even in real life, I'm like that. Mm. If I have to say something, I say it on the face. Regardless of a person will like it or no, if it's some, I, I'm straightforward and honest. So if I tell your nose is big, it is mm. because it is big. Yeah. Correct or no? Big and beautiful. You forgot the second part of the word there. I mean, I wouldn't, if you were a girl, <laughs> I would have complimented you, Jabba. Look, in some parts of the world, this nose, you've never seen a statue of, of Shakespeare or a statue of Zeus or a statue of anything with a little nose. He might have had a little thing, but he had a big broken nose like mine. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm Hercules. And there's oh, nothing you can do about it to exactly. take it away. Exactly. So you don't mind having a small thing? What's that? You said big nose, small thing. No, I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, no. First he's talking about, I want to talk about my fen. And now he's calling me a small thing. What's going on? <laughs> bro, where's my backing, bro? Help me. Help me out here, bro. He's just like, ah, yeah. leave me out of this. No, but yeah. So yeah, that's how I started making. And in the beginning, I used to make like, you know, one minute or two minute videos hmm. because everything was new to me i didn't know how to write script i didn't know how to shoot i didn't know how to edit i used to shoot with my iphone edit with my iphone and post it with my iphone like i didn't know anything and as time passed by 
I learned slowly how to write scripts, mm. how to, you know, shoot the different camera angles, different lightings and whatnot. And then that's when I started making longer videos. Mm. So from Facebook, I mean, Facebook changed. It, it updates every two yeah, days. Yeah. yeah. So I shifted to YouTube and now, you know, I'm making almost five to seven minutes videos on yeah. uh, YouTube. It doesn't do that great on Facebook because if I post a small video on Facebook, it does great. Long videos on my Facebook page, it's average. Really? Yeah. It's so weird how <coughs> people are different, right? Exactly. It's like the same person that would watch, you know, all of your stuff, know everything back to back. And then you put a bit of a longer video and they're like, oh, yeah, but bro. I'm only a 30 second fan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like a seven minute fan. That's the whole thing. Bro, as well, we need to talk about this. Your fans are relentless, bro. I told you about this already. Yeah, you told me about Do it. Do you have an internal, uh, like, I, I, I don't know. Is there an internal memo that goes around wherever you're going or something? Because before I even said anything I was going, <coughs> your fans started messaging me on Instagram. Tell him this, tell him that, tell him this. The thing is, I follow very less people on Instagram. Yeah. So if I follow anyone new, I think they, they go stalk it. They're like, why is this guy following this guy? Yeah. So they saw you. I'm like, okay, this guy, Zubair is going on the podcast maybe. Yeah. So maybe that's why they messaged you. Bro, they messaged on one of my posts and they were like, yeah, Zubair's coming on the show, right? <laughs> when? I got no chill. When? <laughs> Fatima, I told you I'd give you the shout out, bro. So Who's Fatima? Yeah, Fatima is one of your fans from yeah? Uh, yeah, from, from Alain. And I told her that Hello, I'll, Fatima. I'll, sh I'll shout you out. Um, you're not married yet? No. <laughs> no. Okay, so Are you now, married? Now to the second part. Yeah, bro. You're married? Yeah. Real marriage or fake marriage? No, no, real marriage. Okay, because with I have kids, to, with kids, bro. Yeah. Because I have to ask, you know, you never know. Wait, what's a fake marriage? You don't. Oh, you don't know? No. What are you doing on social media, bro? You know, people fake marriages as well nowadays. What do you mean? You don't know? Which world are you living in, bro? But bro, do you know how old I am, bro? Doesn't matter how old I, you are. I might look like a budding twenty-year-old, but I'm kissing forty, bro. <laughs> like, like, wh wait, what do you mean fake marriages? As in fake marriage for passports, or fake marriages in let's just pretend we're married so we can have couple goals and pictures and stuff. Yes. The second part. Really. <coughs> the passport is useless, bro. This is nothing. The passport is in US and all. You say that I've got a British passport. It's definitely not useless. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. <coughs> You know, okay. if social media is fake. Uh, no, no, yeah. Well, Ninety-five percent of the things on social media you see are fake. Okay, let's go into it. But first, I want to clarify this fake marriage stuff. Okay. What do you mean? Like, there's people that pretend to be married on social media. Yeah. Exactly. I would have taken names, but then you know, they might put defamation so case on, on me. On the screen now, there's going to be names of people going up who are. But wait, wait. Okay, so one see, thing I know, I know, like for example, if there's a if there's a gay person. Hmm. who's in a particular society that doesn't accept it he'll fake marriage to kind of cover up that kind of stuff hmm. um yeah obviously i know that but what you mean just for likes just for likes just because some people can't speak the truth there are many like that bro i swear you know if i if i open an exposing channel on youtube i can guarantee i will hit like two million in one week Guys, but check I can't in next expose. week for our Exposion channel. <laughs> uh, we're just starting one. Me and Zubair, um, it's going to be called Expose You, UAE. Um, and then me and you end up in jail? Whatever, bro. We've got <laughs> loads of followers, bro. What do you care about? What, what's more important in life? Freedom or followers, bro? Freedom. No, 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 bro. You got, you got it all wrong, man. You got it all wrong. Um, okay, so they do it for likes and stuff like that. I've, I've never heard of anything like this in my life. You're going to hire Because you're looking at me like it's, it's a, it's a it's normal thing that everybody knows about it. Uh, exactly. It's, really? it's a normal thing as in fake weddings fake see if i go into more detail people will for know sure. they, they will yeah. know, because there are many like that and they you will mean, know who you mean is. influencers or just people in general people don't care influencers really influencers girls if there's anyone that wants to have a nice uh, couples goals page with me um me also how much do we charge for this stuff it's for free I oh, know, I ain't got time for that, bro. I got three kids. I ain't got time for that kind of stuff. I'm free. That's it's why hard I enough putting pictures of my real wife up there, let alone my fake wife, bro. That's why I asked you, like, you know, you're married yeah, for yeah. real or married for fake. Okay, let's talk about the fakeness of social media because, okay, everybody knows social media is fake. Yeah. And all you need to do is see a, a person you follow in real life. I was going to say a girl there, but it's not just girls who wear majority girls. And, I mean, I've sat like this next to a girl that I followed and they follow me in real life and I didn't even know it was her bro like I, <laughs> we, I didn't even say hello that's how different she looked in real life that I didn't I didn't go oh hey how you doing I was lit I literally just like 
is it really you yeah. bro? and then she came and spoke to me and then <coughs> i was still like dude i don't know you and then social media is fake af yeah. trust me when we were speaking about mental health i told you yeah. now see i'm an open person if mm. i'm if i'm depressed i tell my followers like you know i'm depressed because i upload tri- thrice a week mm. i don't want to you know s- make it seem like mental health is a taboo mm. because uh, last year when corona was going on international red crescent even approached me i represented dubai for like mental health because of corona so the thing is people are scared to talk about mental health mm. because they think like oh it's a shame or this or that it's not if you need help you seek it if you are mm. suffering through something talk to someone but don't make it seem like it's something else mm. some influence i can guarantee they fake it in dubai majority of the influencers who are famous who have money but in real life they're miserable yeah they are miserable trust me but on social media they make they're it seem like lavish. oh they are living the mm. life mm. they have the money they have the fame they have the cars they have the fake marriage mm. bro they are they're living their life and they lie so openly mm. majority of the influencers liars go check my profile i hardly do advertisements mm. why because i don't like to lie yeah you don't like to represent something <coughs> that you uh, it's not about representing i don't want to lie how much will i lie bro come on but what do you mean by lie obviously if you say it's a paid advertisement it's not lying it's not about paid advertisement you give me you give me a drink i you, you say this energy drink it gives you energy i don't know if it gives me energy or not mm. It doesn't. It yeah. So for, for, for all I know, it doesn't do. It doesn't so do if shit. If you're not using it, you don't want to represent. Something yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. I did the same thing, bro. I was I was uh, back in the day. You can't tell now, but I was a fitness model. I was pretty shredded, dude. I was oh, you all, look amazing I was right now. All of the. Well. I'll show you some pictures before. You just be like, uh, "What are you doing, podcasting, bro?" I was sponsored by PhD Nutrition. I was at all the muscle shows. Giant pictures of me on the thing, bro. And it got to a point with all these brands. You know, when you first start influencing, you're greedy. And you you get excited with all the free stuff that you're getting. So like you take this sponsor and you take this sponsor and you take this sponsor. And then after a while, I realized all I was using was the pre workout. But then I was telling people, oh, this protein is amazing and it does this and that and oh, take your magnesium and your aminos and your this and your that and, and so many stuff like, oh, this rice pudding is the only one. And then after a while, I was like, I've got to stop doing this, bro. I'm I'm not using. It. It's not good. It's not good. Like I I didn't feel good inside because I was promoting something that I didn't get it. And they would send me low, bro. Like I would give all my friends free stuff all the time. Take this, take this protein, take that. They'd send me like 50 like boxes of stuff all the time. And I was just like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. That's because you have some self-respect. There are yeah. people out there who have zero self-respect. Mm. I swear. It's, it's, it's a mess. Mm. Trust me. That, that's the reason, you know, I stopped being much active on Instagram. I would let me focus on YouTube because it's a mess out there. People just use each other on social media. Mm. If you look at the circle around me, this guy, mm. I know him for past 10 years. Like everyone around me, I know them for five to six years. Mm. So I keep my circle really close. Why? Because others just want to use. Mm. For example, if you will get a friend like, oh, let's be friends. He'll just use you for a couple of days. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. get lost. I'm done with you. Yeah. So people get bored easily. You don't know who's real, who's not. And people mm. don't, usually people don't like me. Mm. Not because, you know, they don't like my videos or anything like that. It's because I'm too straightforward. Mm. And people don't like to hear the truth. Yeah. Yani they want sugar, they want it sugar-coated, this, that, yeah. which I can't do. Yeah. <coughs> I remember two years back, I went to an event. I don't usually attend events, yeah. very rarely. So I went to an event, it was in the morning. Me and this guy, we went together. So I met this girl. First of all, she had eyelashes, which was this long. <laughs> I told my friend, if she blinks a little faster, <laughs> she'll fly. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, let me introduce you to my boss. She didn't know who I was. She met me one day before. Mm. Like she had no idea that I was a YouTuber, I was a comedian, nothing. She took me to her boss. And uh, she's like, this is Zubair Saruk. He's my most favorite content creator. I love him. You know, I'm been watching, I've been watching him for so long. And I'm just looking at her and I looked at the boss and right in front of the boss, I'm like, you just met me yesterday. You didn't know who I was. Why are you lying? Yeah. And then silence. This guy's like, <laughs> Silence. And then she's like, oh, look, he's even cracking jokes right now. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm not cracking no joke. It's yeah, truth. Yeah. She doesn't know who I am. And the boss is just looking at her and she felt so embarrassed. I'm like, bro, why are you lying yeah, but so it's true much? Though. Why are you lying? And if you're going to lie, why are you lying in my face? I'm here. <laughs> exactly. You're, ma- you're making me lie with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have a couple of friends, you know, who want, who want me to lie for them. Mm. 
and sometimes I even go ahead because you know it might it might save them at times white lies hmm? white lies they're cool yeah, like white lies or yeah. black lies lies are lies yeah. if you're saving yourself you're ruining someone else yeah so in the end I said it is what it is just leave me out of this man yeah even my mental health was effed up like I recently started healing like I've mm. become fine now if you take around one and a half months or two months back I was in a miserable state elaborate on that me. why do things you want, do you want to lie down and we can do the psychiatry thing now <laughs> and how did that make you feel <laughs> the thing is uh, certain things happened which I did not expect you want to talk about them people will know if I go into details trust me Okay. People will know, so I don't want to go into details because yeah. then they will, they might you know send hate to someone else, which mm. I don't mm. want it. But s- certain things happened which I did not expect. Things turned out the way which I didn't want it to turn out, and it was just miserable. I was just sitting at home. I was like, I felt like the whole world falling apart. I'm like, mm. and I still was uploading videos. I ha- I have a friend Ibrahim. He looked at me. He's like. I don't know how you're even making videos. If I was in your place, I wouldn't be able to get up from bed. I was like, bro, I I need to put bread on my table as well. Mm. He was like, okay, fine. And then I, you know, slowly started going to gym. I started focusing on my diet and I started cutting out crap out of my life. Mm. And slowly, 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 I recovered. I can say, Alhamdulillah, I'm like 80% I'm there. Mm. Now, a little 20%, you know, it takes time to you'll heal. Ne- you'll never be 100% there. <coughs> we'll try. Yeah, I will try my best though. I mean, I don't think it's good to be a hundred percent sane, to be honest. Why? I don't know. There's got to be something wrong in your life for it to be good. I think. Yeah, wrong. But then it shouldn't be related to girls. We're getting something else. Yeah, it should be related yeah. to girls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I, I as <coughs> as all psychiatrists would say, I can only help you if you tell me what <laughs> what the story is. I can only show you the door, Neo. You, you can't have help. to walk through it. <laughs> you can't help me, Jabber, even if I talked about it. No, the thing is, uh, this is the first time I'm ever talking about this. Then this is why. You remember what I told you before? This is the first time I'm ever talking about this. People they're like, why did I say that on your show, dude? Yeah, but let's talk about it. I fell in love. Okay. Mabruk. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing Mabruk about it. <laughs> okay. I fell in love, but then it didn't work out. Okay. That's it. Cool. I thought the opposite person was in love as well. Mm. But then they were like, Yeah. Ma salama habibi. That's good, bro. It happens. It is what bro, it you're is. You're like 15, bro. You got a lot more love to come in your life, bro, before. <laughs> like, don't worry. I wish cool. I was 15, bro. Yeah. No, but like, uh, these things happen, bro. Like, <coughs> honestly, like, if I think of all the times. You've been in love? Yeah. And the thing is, every time it's the one. And there's nothing wrong with that because in life you can love so many people and you can fall in love so many times for so many different reasons because you got to remember <coughs> in five years from now you're not going to be the same person exactly that you are now just as you are not the same person as you were when you started doing what you're doing with the videos so the things that you look at that make you fall in love now in five years from now they can not be attracted to you, uh, attractive to you in any way like those those things those things that you looked at that made you love that person in 10 years from now you'd be like that's not thingy so I think it, things what, change bro and it's like I think what made me fall in love yeah. was spending a lot of time mm. I spend a lot of time mm. a lot of time like physically like mm. uh, you know going places chilling this that and you tend to get a- attached to the person yeah, of course. so yeah that's what I think made me fall in love well, you got a lot more time left to spend <coughs> with other people, bro. And look, yeah. if it all doesn't work and you don't find anyone else, uh, we'll make a fake marriage on, <laughs> on, <laughs> on social media, nice bro. And yeah. we'll just uh, we'll couple get goals. It, bro. Yeah. No, you know the. Oh, so that's why you're posting those thirsty pictures now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I had nothing yeah, to post. Yeah, yeah. My friend, yeah. uh, he messaged me. He was like, "Why don't you post this picture?" I was like, "Yeah, good idea, man." And I posted yeah. it. What will I do posting thirsty nah, pictures? Bro, bro, if if the person d- if the person doesn't love me, what's the point of posting thirsty I'm pictures? I'm not just talking about the person itself, but all I'm saying is oh, you're like I'm when, putting thirst when, traps. When I, when, yeah, when I drink, all the water goes into my mouth. It doesn't drop on my chest and drizzle down my abs. That was I'm sweat. Just saying, that was sweat. I'm just saying the majority <laughs> of the water that I put into my mouth goes into my mouth and down my throat. 
Now you seem to have had a really shaky hand and went Oh. Bro, that was sweat. And the, and the picture happened to be there. The cameraman was in the right place. Cameraman the right was there. there. Now, I'm just saying, seems a bit planned, but maybe not. Maybe it not. wasn't planned. Yeah. And that was sweat. It was not yeah. water. Bro, I okay. was doing, I was boxing. What yeah. do you expect? Yeah. Butterflies to come out? No, sweat. Well, you know, um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. So how did it feel? Let's go back a little bit. When you, when you were like, you posted, you got millions of views. Did part of you go, okay, maybe that was just a viral, that, that one or these two. Did you, did you ever imagine that all of your videos were going to start getting so many, so much traction so quickly? And, and how did that affect you? Did you start kind of being like, I'm the man kind of thing? No, the thing was... Were you a dick, basically? After you just became famous, did you take it like a dick or did you take it like a champion? No, I took it like a champion. Really? And, and it was very pressurizing. Yeah. Because imagine your first ever video gets like 3 million views yeah. and then you're like, shit, the next video has to yeah. even be better. Trying to and imagine. then I post the next video. Okay, it, it gets 500k views. Mm. That is good. Yeah. But then it's not good enough when you compare the other video. And that puts you into depression. You're like... And sometimes God. you're like, but this is the funnier video. Why yeah, hasn't it got exactly. that many views? Exactly. And then I'm like, oh my God. And then I post the third video. Okay, third video gets 1 million views. I'm like, okay, but then why it's not better than the first video? Hmm. So it's very pressurizing as well. But then all my v views were like above 500K. Hmm. So I was like, chill. Then I was like, now, now it's time to move to YouTube. And for me, YouTube clicked during Corona. Hmm. Okay. It clicked for me my characters on YouTube, it, it blew up during Corona. Yeah. Because I feel like the audience on Facebook is way different for me. They yeah. like shorter videos. I, not just that, they're different <coughs> people because, you know, I don't have Facebook. Well, I have Facebook, but I mean, I'll check it once every five years. Like I'm not a person who, the last time I posted was literally four years ago or something like that, or maybe, mm. maybe even longer. Um, I just feel like Facebook is for old people. I don't know why. I feel like TikTok and Snapchat is for the really younger people. Instagram is kind of the coolie kind of like our age kind of thing. And then Facebook is for the more mature yeah. kind of audience. People do say that. But the thing is, there are a lot of young people on Facebook as well. Like, really? for example, in Philippines, Facebook yeah. is the king. Really? In a lot of places, like it's Facebook is the king. how different countries have the... Because Saudi yeah. have Snapchat, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like, crazy. And Saudi. different countries have their own kind of social yeah. media. No, we're using this one. Exactly. So... For me, if I post vlogs on my Facebook, mm. even though if it's like four or five minutes vlog, it does good. People mm. enjoy watching vlogs on Facebook. Yeah. But if it's like a five minute video, comedy video, they're like, uh, okay, it's too long, you know, skip. Mm. Because there are a lot of options on Facebook. Mm. Like you can just skip quickly. On YouTube, the audience, you know, they like to binge watch. Mm. So it's two different audience. And the next one is ready to go like straight yeah. after, straight after, yeah. And the thing is if on, on YouTube, they have like playlist after yeah. you read there is next video of yours which they can watch yeah. on Facebook it's not like that yeah like after your video there's someone else's there's video. a rabbit or something like yeah. That. yeah and yeah. they will watch our, they will watch a, a guy making swimming pool in the jungle rather yeah, than yeah. watching my video yeah that was a pretty good video <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say <laughs> I did watch the guy <laughs> the entire swimming, swimming pool, pool in the, oh I watched God. the see I I'm guilty as well bro, bro I watched the entire video I have this thing yeah um, my wife hates me for it she hates me I have this weird kind of OCD that I can't start watching something and stop. Oh. Even if it's the worst thing. Like if we start <coughs> watching a video, obviously if it's an hour long, I can stop. But if it's like a, a six minute or a, or a 10 minute video, and then we get to four minutes and she's like, no, let's change it. I'm like, well, no, <laughs> I've committed four minutes to this video. I'm doing the next three minutes. Like I have to finish it. So when that swimming pool one came on, I was, uh, it's pretty cool, bro. They also made a pool table, right? I Did you see remember. the one? They made, they made an actual pool table in the jungle out of clay with balls and cues and everything, and they were playing pool in them. Damn, that's some next level creativity. Why are you hating for them? on the jungle, bro? <laughs> I ain't hating on be, no one, be, bro. Be proud, bro. Be proud. They're in a jungle and they're making videos, bro. I'm in a city and I've got cameras everywhere, and I'm still not making videos, bro. <laughs> How did you get um, your characters? Is that something that you initially thought, I want to have these alter egos in the beginning? Or is it something that developed? And also, are they here with us today? I feel like this is a seance. <laughs> okay, I have a mother's character, mm -hmm. a father's character, which were there from the beginning itself. Okay. And then I have an uncle's character, which is, his name is Rambo. Yeah, the Rambo. And like, he came recently. And he, I even have a teacher's character. 
from the beginning okay because i've taken the inspiration one from. teacher because i saw like all of the teachers one teacher was a main teacher my okay. main teacher yeah, and yeah. he's always there yeah. And then recently, maybe last year, I have a new character named Monica Korosna. Yeah. Monica Korosna, by the way, interesting story. Inspiration yeah. is taken from a real life person. Okay. Okay. Have you seen the first video? Which first person? ever video introducing Monica Korosna. No. Okay. Can you, play, can you play the... Let's get this up there on the screen. Searching for the house, searching for housemaid. See, you're lucky we're on YouTube because if we were on Facebook, I would have only watched two seconds of it and moved on. <laughs> Yeah. Bloody <laughs> hell, the thumbnails, bro. <laughs> Why is there no ad playing on my video, bro? Yeah, what's going on, bro? What's going on, mama? I saw a maid interview board outside. Yes, we need a new maid, so we are taking interview. Are you serious? No, I am Abu Zubair. <laughs> this love, bro. Okay, sorry. Zubair, sit here and be a part of the interview. Okay, who next person? Please come inside. Pause. Wait, it. Let us smile. <laughs> you see the fake teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is Monica Korsna. This okay. is the first ever video in which I'm introducing this character. Okay. And the inspiration is from a real life person. Okay. This is the first time I'm ever talking about this. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows this. So basically, Exclusive. this person. Pew, 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 yeah. pew. <clears throat> so basically, this person used to make was a fan, was okay. a crazy fan of mine. Okay. This female. But she started making fake accounts and sending me hate. A lot of hate. Because a lot of issues happened coming to that point. And I knew it was that person making the fake account. Okay. I let it go for six months. And, and with me, it was affecting a couple of other people mm. as well. So wait, she was making fake accounts and messaging you and other people as well? Yeah. And spreading rumors about me. She said that I tried to force myself on a girl, like I tried to rape a girl, and she took a girl's name. A real person. Yeah, and uh, that a time- A person you knew? Like- Yeah, 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 my wow. friend. And that time, I was dating. So, uh, like, my partner was like, what is this, and blah, blah. I was like, okay. no, it's all false. Wait, and she put it, she sent it to you, or actually put it out there in the- She was telling everyone. Wow. Like in shisha cafes and this and that. Wow. So I messaged that girl who she said I tried to rape. I was like, did I try to do anything with you? She's like, no, never. And I took the screenshot and I sent it to my girl. I was like, bro, see, it's pure lies. Yeah. Nothing. And a lot of more things. A lot of more rumors. So I warned. I was like, see, you stop this. Or if I'm going to start, I'm not going to stop. Yeah. No, uh, no fruit. Yeah. It was useless. I was like, now I have to do something. I made a character. How I look, the person looks exactly the same, bro. <laughs> That's why the fake teeth. <laughs> Play. Excuse me, this maid interview, not horror movie audition. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Where did you get that laugh from, bro? I don't and know. Where did it come? Is that something that you... You were like, I need to do something like that? Or yeah. did you just do it by accident once and then realize it was funny? And then, No, no, no. Because this is another one of those things where I go, I hate that. It's so stupid, but I love watching it, bro. Like every time I see it, I laugh. But I always go, it's fucking so annoying. The thing is, I was like, see, I need the father to have a, signi yeah. you know, a signature something. Mm. I was like, either my uncle, he has a signature dialogue. Yeah. He goes like, after every sentence, he goes like, Google it if you don't believe me. Yeah, yeah. Google it if you don't believe me. So I was like, my father needs to have a signature something. Yeah. And I was like, let me make it the laugh. I tried different laughters and I found this one the most catchy. Hmm. I was like, let's go with this. Let's talk about the previous laughters that could have been your father's laughters. Let's see them. Okay. Which was it? Another yeah. one was, uh, see here I shake the both the shoulders. Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> 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 <Or> one, like, <laughs> one shoulder. So I tried. I was like, okay, if I keep doing this, then after a few days, I'll be like this. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, no, I need to move both the shoulders. Okay. So yeah, in the end, we chose the... Both the shoulders one. Okay. And people liked it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, continue. <laughs> My name is Monica Korosna. What kind of name is Korosna? It's a combination of coronavirus, rats, and snake. I hope you don't have hantavirus. Hantavirus? What is that? It's a virus caused by rats. 
Um Zubair, she have too much bad smell. I'm insulting her down Okay, right Korosna, we want you to wash the clothes and do the other household work. Will you be able to do it? Yes, madam, I can do, but I need holiday every Wednesday. Why? Because I want to make TikTok videos. I want to be famous on TikTok and everywhere. TikTok videos, it seems. I am TikTok brand ambassador. You think I can become Wish World also? And these are all relative jokes to her, huh? For those of you guys listening oh, on Spotify, you're talking to um, me. The, Sorry, the I thought you only talked behind my there. back. Anyway, with that face, I doubt that you can become Miss World, but you can become Miss Toilet for sure. If that will make me famous, then I don't mind. I am going to do Hollywood smile and fix my teeth. Whatever. What are your hobbies? I like to make fake accounts and send hate to people who are happy and successful. That's disgusting. I am also a disgusting person. How much salary you want? $10,000. La wallah. Habibti, this maid job, not manager job. Baba, for that face, 10 dirhams is also too much. The picture you send us on WhatsApp, you look different in that. And in real life, you look different. Yeah, that is because there is makeup, there is filter, then I edit my face, then I photoshop my body, I make myself look like a model. It's a shame you can't photoshop or add filters to your personality. I dance also very good. Wait, I will show you. Hi Garmi. Hi Garmi. Hi Garmi. Check out the tour. Hi Garmi. How was it? Everyone tell me I dance like Shakira. Same, same dog jumping. Wallah. <laughs> Thank you for coming, but we don't want you as maid. So this is what we were talking about with the whole um, social media. Pause, pause. Um, that wait, wait, wait. Remove the face, bro. I'm, I'm getting scared. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like a thing that you're gonna keep remembering. Huh? That people can look so different, bro. Exactly. So different, and it really makes me kind of think. There's nothing worse that I can imagine. <coughs> Of me wanting to meet a girl and her having an idea of what I look like from a picture and then me turning up and looking nothing like that picture like for me that's so embarrassing that's like I don't understand how girls are so okay with this bro there is this this trend going on reels where it's like uh, I don't know uh, I told her send me a selfie without a filter and then she looks different now and blah 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 and they just like they look one way with all the makeup and all that stuff they take it off bro and like they look like prison wardens dude like it's just like really and I'm, I'm like i couldn't imagine that me personally i couldn't imagine trying to because that's trickery bro exactly that's trickery imagine getting into a relationship with someone and i'm sorry girls you do this yeah i mean i don't do one night stands but I couldn't imagine the fear inside my heart if I went to bed with... Uh, I don't do that because that's haram. If I went to bed at night with one person and I woke up and I turned around and it's a completely different person lying there. Exactly. That, that, that shouldn't be allowed, bro. That's you're very tricking, true. You're tricking someone into thinking you look like someone else. People, I mean, see, girls usually put makeup. If, if it makes them feel confident, it's fine. Yeah. If, it, if you're doing it for yourself, it's fine. But there are some people... Yeah, and it, they put lashes this that and they so much bro. so much and they go on tinder yeah okay and they try to get guys and when the guy goes and meets them it's like i i don't think I, th I think it shouldn't be allowed i think that this should be an arrestable offense bro <laughs> like fraud because imagine imagine like you know somebody is taking their time to want to go and meet you and stuff and it was the other way around a girl you a send her a picture a you, lot of influencers no but but like you know like for example if I show you some pictures of me, bro, when I was shredded, I look like a different person, bro. Abs on my neck, bro. Like, everywhere, bro. Now, I wouldn't send a girl a picture of me looking like that and then turn up, like, fat. Like, <laughs> I, I just, it just wouldn't be right in my head. Exactly. But people do that stuff where they'll take an angle of a picture or, or they'll send a picture from four years ago when they were thin and then they turn up and you're like, well what happened to the picture of the person that you sent me this shouldn't be allowed bro it shouldn't be allowed but then you know i'll tell you one more thing how it works for example a guy likes a girl he's gonna meet her for the first time of course she's not gonna go bare face she's gonna put makeup okay that's fine now if the guy starts liking the girl now she looks a certain way with makeup now if he sees her without makeup he likes her already yeah, of course, so he yeah. will like her without the makeup as mm. well mm. 
but that's still trickery. Yeah, bro, bro, there's 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 different types of makeup, bro. Like when you make your like I, I look my little sister, she's in she's a makeup artist and that kind of stuff. When I see some of the stuff she does to people, like she'll make a nose look completely different. Like somebody they do lines and f and weird stuff, bro. And and in China they have this thing where they stick stuff up their nose, bro. I've seen videos where they're just pulling yeah. strings out of their nose. I've done reaction and, videos to it. Yeah, <laughs> and sellotape. Like they said, they take the sellotape off and their face comes around and all of that stuff. And it's like, it's crazy. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Like, what, what, what like you as a person, how are you comfortable doing that? I swear if a guy does the same thing, oh, people will hate on him so much. Like if you see a guy putting makeup on going outside, they're like, ah, Hanif. Right? <laughs> exactly. Like they were like, what, what is wrong with this guy? But if, and see, not everyone is like that. Yeah. But majority of them, yeah, double standards. Yeah. Like if you do such. And then they're like, you're too short. And I'm like, I'm too short. What about all the lies that you're doing going on here? You're wearing heels. You're wearing a bra. You're wearing the leggings that, that make the R's go up and all that stuff. Like, like, in the <laughs> so the where, I mean, where, 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 where'd you go from here? What's going, what's going on now in your life? Well, when it comes to the, the comedy, do you, where, where are the goals set? Where'd you go? Right now I am focusing on my mental health. I'll be honest with you. Like I want to be completely fine. Like I want to stop giving importance to people mm. who don't give me the same importance. Mm. If I love someone, I will, you know, I will go to the moon for them. I will even put my priorities, my goals in the side, which is not good. Very bad. It's very bad. I will even, you know, I'm willing to suffer for the other person, which is stupid which is not love <laughs> love what you don't you, you do don't that need, you don't need to suffer if, you, if somebody loves you no by, by suffering in the sense i like yeah. i will go out of the way for doing yeah. something like for example uh, if you ask me if, if the person i love asks me zubair can you pick me up yeah i'll be like i don't have car I'll be like oh but it's urgent i don't have car i don't have to do anything i'll be like bro yeah. i don't have car but yeah. i will go take a rent a car and i'll go take the yeah. person so i go out of the way for I the person i mean i think that's fine to do because everybody wants to you know, with the person that they're with, and especially once you're married and you have children, all that stuff, it's like a whole different story. Well, ma ma thing. marriage is different. Yeah. Bro. So, but um, yeah, man. It, it's not about marriage. Is bro for wife for your wife, you can yeah. bro, go. You go to the moon. You go to Mars yeah. and come back. Doesn't yeah. matter. But like I'm talking about like before marriage. Yeah. I even if it's not a relationship before yeah. marriage. Yeah. So okay, if the opposite person is doing putting in the same effort, mm. it's understandable. If the one one person puts in the same effort. Mm. You're gonna feel like shit at one point of time. Mm. You'll be like, I'm putting all the work in. I'm not expecting anything in return, but what I'm expecting is at least loyalty. Yeah. Or. Uh, yeah, but the problem is you're dealing with human beings, and this is a very big problem. Yeah. At some point in my life, I remember realizing, like, after a couple of people did a couple of kind of sus moves towards me, I was like, oh, humans can switch on you like that in a exactly. second bro. bro tell me about in it in a second and it's quite a weird feeling that you know and this happens all the time guys you know sleep with their brother's wives guys kill people who like their parents not just guys i mean people yeah people kill their parents like just imagine that out of one day one kid just decides i've had enough of this grounding and not being allowed to do what i want and they go and kill their parents in one second, a guy will wake up the next day and go and shoot a school. Like, people, they're unreliable, bro. Other, you can't. One thing I learned in life is you can never expect someone to think the same way as exactly. you, or to or to have the same values as you. Like, there's such a broad spectrum for people of 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 how people are. So that's why you can't really exactly. Ex a couple yeah. of days back, I asked this person, okay. I literally uh, see, I asked, I'm like, see, I'm going to ask you something. It's going to mm. hurt you, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. The person was like, yeah, ask. I was like, do you have some self-respect in you mm. or no? The person tells me, I don't think I have any self-respect left in me because I have been put in such a situation. I was like, do you have any shame in you or no? The person says I want to be independent. I'm like, you're not an independent. Making making your own money is not independent. Mm. If you are a slave to someone else. Mm. And I was like, bro, have some self-respect. Know when to walk away from someone. 
that's another thing bros y- you can't expect people to there are people and women who are being beaten by their husbands and like on a daily basis treated like shit don't worry i got you <laughs> treated like shit like and they still they say oh i, I love him or, or whatever doesn't make sense bro we did the same thing what we, this is abusive syndrome bro the, okay what? you know about stockholm syndrome yeah right? yeah stockholm syndrome is when people they start to fall in love with their kidnappers yeah like and stuff so i remember when i made this decision back in the day so a friend of mine she <coughs> would always fight with her boyfriend always 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 and we were a very close you know group circle. group circle of friends so one day he hit her okay so me and the boys were like yeah all right cool we went there we beat the shit out of him two days later bro she was back with him again bro same shit you, f- you felt so stupid huh? we felt like idiots we were like well why did we just go we just went and we beat this guy up and you know but before i'm never gonna see him again this is the last time and i can't believe it two days bro not, not even a week two yeah. days back again everything's back to normal and it's like your words are ringing in my yeah, ears bro deja vu i heard bro. this somewhere before bro and so you can't you just I think the best way, bro, this is, is to put your is glasses on, sunshades, and just look forward and go, bro. Don't rely on others, bro. This is not love. Yeah. This is trauma. You're attached to your, to your well, trauma. What, what is what, love? What, what, and the a worst line between uh, love and trauma. What's love, really? Man? Exactly. And the worst thing is, I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. Imagine this guy is, he's a guy. Okay, mm-hmm. you're a girl. Mm-hmm. You both are separated. Hi. <laughs> you both are separated. I actually look like this all the time, though. This is no trick, bro. <laughs> Just so you know, this is what you're getting and this is what you're going to get all the day, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you both are separated because this guy hits you. Yeah. This guy abuses you and whatnot. And then you come to me. We spend time together. I fall mm. in love with you and then you fuck me up mm. and you go back to that guy. Yeah. And I'm just like, g- get me a red nose, <laughs> please. I want to put it over here and just look in the mirror. <laughs> Who's the clown now? You. Again, again it happens. <clears throat> you, you can't. But this is not love. If you're talking about okay, what is love according to Maybe you? Maybe it is, bro. It's not love. Come I mean, on, bro. It's not. This is not for love for you. You. That's. This is the point I'm trying to make. You just can't understand other people. Other people are not as educated as you. Other people, maybe. Okay, let's just say for example, I don't know this person or, or this situation. We're gonna take this person out of it. If they grew up in a in an abusive household, and saw their parents like that. That's the only thing they would know as a st- stable family and uh, as love. That's what they would know as love. So that's what they will develop in their head that this is what love is and this is how I deal with it. Very true. But as far as I know, this person didn't grow up in an abusive household. No, but I'm saying it's, <laughs> yeah, you, you just don't know. Maybe there's something there that you, you yeah. can't expect. And All you can do is, 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 is lay down on the table what you bring to the table and that's it. What you might find is again in five years once that person wakes up from the from the cr- cloud that's over their head they might come to you and go oh i didn't realize and i was stuck and blah 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 and then you go yeah. i'm fake married on instagram <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear i'm fake married there's, bro. Nothing, there's nothing i can do about it exactly. and, I, and i don't feel the same so you, you never know you never know you said something quite interesting that i saw the other day and i can't remember the way you said it <laughs> and uh interview mm. with the news channel yes Every every content creator is an influencer, okay. but every influencer is not a content creator. Allah, you said it wrong. Every content creator. Take two. Is that in? I said is this, I'm saying the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not every co- uh, every content creator is an influencer, but not every influencer is a content. creator. That's what I said. You forgot the knots. This said every. Hey, you forgot the knots, bro. I don't know, we're going to have to watch Don't talk about <laughs> knots. It reminds me of some things. Someone used to ask me how strong the knot is. Bro, don't remind me about the knots. What happened to your fans, bro? The young fans, bro. Okay, so elaborate on that. Explain that to Yeah, me. so let me get the quote right first of all. Okay. <clears throat> I for- not, uh, it, every content creator is an influencer. Mm-hmm. But not every influencer is a content creator. Okay. Okay. For example. What you're doing over here right now. Nelson Mandela content yeah okay what i'm doing on youtube content why because people are benefiting out of it mm-hmm. something or the other even if it's the smallest thing but then you'll find these people on tiktok or on instagram reels mm. what they do 
Yeah, they're doing nothing. They just walk on, walk in slow motion. And they're using put other the people's so, Put the song in the background. Yeah. That's content for them. Yeah. What, what kind of content is that? Yeah. What? You're just walking in slow motion and there's a song in the back. Doing and trust the, me. Doing the GTA walk. Li- bro, yeah. G- GTA walk, at least you can see something. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. But literally, these people do nothing. Yeah. Just walk. Get or up. they will use w- someone else's reel or someone else's uh, audio and then they'll just repeat the same thing. And it's like yeah, lip sync. a million people doing the same exact yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. There's no creativity in there it. There is no creativity. You just open the door hmm. and you're walking in and I just put it in slow-mo and I put a song in the background, okay. a love song or an EDM song, whatever. Yeah. Post it on reels. But this is the thing. So this is this is the, they call the themselves. Problem. They call themselves inf- influencer. What, what are you influencing? Okay, I was the same, bro. This is this is why I left the fitness world, because I was posting stuff of just me topless, shredded to shit. Wait, that is still motivating. No, it's not, bro. And, bro. and that's not why I was doing it. You know, how I was doing it to show people how much better I, I am than them, bro. See, for whatever reason you were doing, if yeah. someone else is like, damn, I want to be like this guy. It is still motivating to someone. What what is motivating about a person walking but, but, in slow mo? Okay, Damn, know, I want to walk but, like in slow mo with like yeah, this guy. It's, it's motivating one picture, but all your pictures are the same shit, bro. Doesn't it's matter. Boring. It's just still, the same repetitive shit. Trust me, it's still motivating. Yeah. I'm not saying it because you're sitting over here, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm honest. It's still motivating. But like, what is motivating about person walking in slow mo? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Oh my God, he's walking. Oh, I want to walk in slow motion like this guy, yeah. bro. You slow. You wa- you are walking just like everyone else. You slow. You slow it down it through an app. You use a song, someone else's song, not even yours. Mm. Do something better, yeah. and then you but call yourself influencer. Thing, but this is the thing, and they get the likes and they get the views. Exactly. So, so they don't have to use their brain and they don't have to exactly. get creative. Exactly. This is the thing that I I speak to a lot of my friends who do a, a lot of stuff similar to yours. Sometimes we'll do videos that are so smart, so much work has gone into them. And then a rabbit falling down the stairs video gets 10 times more views. And then you're just like, oh, is there any point of doing this? Oh, well, a rabbit falling down is still better than the slow-mo video, bro. <laughs> still better than the slow-mo yeah, video. Even the slow-mo, even the slow-mo. Certain slow-mo, if the girl is hot enough, will get more views, bro. That's true. And then you're just like, is there any point in doing this? What am I doing this for kind of thing? But also there's a deeper meaning to your saying, which I just realized now. Every, say it again. (laughs) Every content creator is an influencer, but every influencer. But not every influencer is a content creator. Yeah, but not every influencer is a content creator. I got the notes in there, see? Now you can think about it like this. Think about all of the influencers like Nelson Mandela, Gandhi. All of these people who were influencers, but they weren't content creators. <laughs> <laughs> but exactly. they were actual influencers. They influenced the world. Exactly. To do um, a lot of things. They didn't have to walk in slow right? more. Imagine Nelson Mandela or Yandere. Maybe Gandhi did. Because he was weak because he was on a fast, right? So he didn't eat for a long time. He was like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> he was just walking normally, but it was slow mo. Oh, my God. And trust me, there are many who do this because it's easy. Mm. It's very easy. And it gets do you think it's, do you think it's getting too easy <coughs> yeah. to the point that, that that I mean do you do you are you like look I don't care how many people have these many followers because you don't know who's got what followers now how many people have bought followers and bought all this stuff but are you like I'm gonna keep doing my craft because I know what I'm doing takes time and, and it takes you know effort and brains and all that stuff or do you sometimes get disheartened by people who are not putting in half the effort but are also getting a lot of views and and stuff i don't get disheartened because i know the hard work and the creativity i have in me like Mm. the hard work i put in the creativity and if they knew how to do what i do yeah they would have done it yeah but they don't know all they all they know is to walk in slow mo Mm. i have i have influencers with you know, two million, four million, five million followers. Who are my friends? They're like, Zubair, can you write some content for us? Mm. Trust me, I'm not bragging, but there are times I've prepared a script in like five minutes. Yeah. A 10 minute video script, I prepared in five minutes. Yeah. How, how is it going? Is it is it being, uh, are you making the majority of your money and your stuff from your YouTube or yeah. are you? 
majority everything from YouTube. I don't do advertisements. It's very rare at all. Huh? Once in a blue moon. Are you I getting offers with that kind of stuff, or you're just yeah, yeah, I'm getting offers, yeah. but I just don't take it okay. because I charge very high. Yeah. Because I know the hard work I put in. Yeah. yeah. And I do very less. Mm. There are influencers with five million, six million followers. Mm. They do advertisement every single day. Yeah. But I don't do it, so I know my value. Like, if I'm gonna do it for you, I'm gonna charge more than what they charge. But I'm gonna do it for you properly, dude. I know some of my my people that I know influencers that are only on 300k followers, and every single day it's these cookies from here and this this and this and, and this taking as much as they possibly can, bro, from all of these. Uh, I will sponsors. show you influencers with 20k followers who are doing advertising. Right yeah. now, you have many apps. I don't want to take the name, you know, to be free promotion for them. But then you just put in your uh, Instagram handle and then they will show you according to your followers which restaurants you can visit, which places you can visit. All you have to do is promote them. Really? Yeah. Man, that's so stupid. Crap. Write down the name of that bingo. <laughs> I would have taken the name here, but then it will be promotion. No free promotion. Next time you call me on podcast, I'll message them. <laughs> <laughs> so when, for example, what's the most videos, the most views you've ever had on a video on YouTube? Mm, honestly, I don't know. I didn't check. On YouTube, I don't check. Really? See, the but thing you is, you get paid from YouTube. I would have thought that that's the one that you do check. I don't. I really don't check. There really? are some videos which crossed a million views. I still don't know. Like a couple of this, but I'm like, oh, this video crossed a yeah. million views. The thing is, I'm not that. M- I'm not that active on social media. Okay. I upload the video on YouTube, and I exit. Oh. Y- you know, Mr. Beast, yeah. Yeah. He's so such yeah. a huge YouTuber. Yeah. yeah. I came to know about him maybe six months ago. Oh really? Yeah, and I'm just like, I felt so stupid. I'm the same, bro. I'm the same as you. I just listen to podcasts on YouTube. Yeah. I don't really watch many other things. I was uh, in Ramadan. I was in the Sharjah car market, yeah. and a car came next to me, and like there were a couple of fans inside, the ladies. Yeah. And they were like, "Hi, Zubair, this there." And I was like, "Hi," and then after uh, like two minutes. A lady came out and she was like, can I click a video with you? I love your videos, this, that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, sure, of course. And then she, 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 she's famous. She did not tell me she's famous. She okay. told me, do you know my sister? She told her sister's name. I was like, no. She's like, my sister's a huge singer in Jordan. Okay. I was like, no, I don't know. And she was like, and she clicked uh, and she uh, recorded the snap with me. And she's like, I'll tag you on Instagram. I was like, yeah, sure. And I didn't check my Instagram that time. Yeah. And then my friend came back from washroom. I told him his sis- her sister's name. I was like, do you know her? He's like, yeah, she's a huge singer in Jordan. I was like, what about her? He's like, I don't know. Yeah. And then later, after she left, I checked her. She tagged me on Instagram. So I checked. I saw she had like 700k on Instagram. Mm. I'm like, damn. And then later, I Googled her. I came to know she's a huge star in Jordan. Okay. And I checked her on Snapchat. She has around like 2.5 million subscribers on Snapchat. Wow. I felt so stupid and embarrassed that time. But that's kind of good as well. I think that's good to not know. I mean, she would have might have expected me to be like oh I know you or something like that I don't know man no because it's like but I felt so stupid I'm like oh my god I should have at least said you know yeah I've seen you somewhere I was like no, again, I was not rude I was want, like do you no, want to lie about it and then and A or might be wrong <laughs> or whatever it's nice to just kind of just be honest and just be like but I like not knowing certain people yeah, but, but, but I liked how she was you know so down to earth and mm. humble even though yeah. she's like she's maybe like 10 times more popular to me but yeah. 2.5 million on Snapchat is a huge deal bro yeah, because yeah. If you have 2.5 million subscribers on Snap, on an average, you can say, on your bad days, 500k views mm. daily on man, each Snap. This fucking social media and all So this Snapchat, shit, man. man, come on. So I was like, damn, I, I was like, I didn't know, you know, these famous mm. people even watch my videos. I was like, nice. Okay. I felt good, but stupid at the same time. So uh, when are we making our next video? I think you need a, a Lebanese cousin in one of your videos. I can bring my father's <laughs> okay. character and uh, take your podcast. <laughs> do it, bro. We should do an entrance to another podcast. Abu Zubair walks in slow mo yeah, first. Yeah, right. Yeah, first bro. in slow mo. Like, if, if you want to make some money, let's work on those slow mo's, bro. I, I swear can teach we you how do to it. do them. I'm really cool at doing uh, slow mo's. So, what's next for you in the future? In the in the immediate future, just to keep going and keep doing things. Have you ever thought of uh, kind of? Uh, Taking it ahead. Taking it ahead, but more in more of a, not on YouTube, maybe on TV or, or whatever. Because I can, I can kind of picture your show being one of those Ramadan shows that comes on. Actually, I was approached by a channel recently. Okay. They were like, we want to air your, uh, sh- you know, skits on our channel. Okay. 
and I don't want to take the name because like in at the end of the email they were like confidential and then I'm like okay mm. whatever bro and it's like a pretty mm. huge Arabic channel but then I was like nah I want my video to be on one platform YouTube where people can go and watch it mm. I don't want no channel to buy it you know I wanted to be it so YouTube. they would they <coughs> would take it off YouTube they wanted the rights to it yeah well no you can say to them look I will give you 10 new videos and you can have the rights to those but not my backlog I don't know bro I, I was not interested mm. so I just was like no I'm not interested whatever it is just forward the email to me I've got some videos for them bro <laughs> we'll do it um, bro it's been absolutely amazing to have you on here oh are we done? yeah bro we're, so fast? we're already more than one hour in right? One, one hour eight minutes I told you it goes fast bro damn and we got some good stuff out of that um some exclusives yeah i'm gonna get a picture of that girl <laughs> and put it on here um <laughs> not not that one the other one the the one that you made the video about oh um, no I, ho- I hope that's not who it was who was messaging me on on, <laughs> on instagram bro it's the last thing i need is people telling me that i've, I've bloody been doing things and stuff like that no yeah. i don't think i she think it's a good you. i think it's a good fan that that uh, yeah me. maybe a fan that has no chill whatsoever bro <laughs> no chill um but yeah, um, hopefully, inshallah, we can get you on for another episode soon. Inshallah. And um, is there anything that you want to leave the the people with? Nothing. If you are, uh, if you don't know who I am, then Zubair Sarukh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can watch my videos on YouTube. I make comedy videos. I post thrice a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. All the links will be up there. You kind of should have started with that instead of just taking over <laughs> my whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we literally wait. Ah, so that's actually almost your real laugh, bro. Did you hear us? Like Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost your real life. Almost. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Boom. Yeah.